Welcome to the Angus Report, a news program for cattle producers. We have the week's top headlines from American Angus Association headquarters in St. Joseph, Missouri, including the latest regarding country of origin labeling. University research unveils a new cattle virus. We'll discuss what that means for producers. And drought seeps back into the Midwest. We look at the relationship between ranchers and feeders in our continuing story of a steak series, and later, how marbling and reproduction go hand in hand. This is the Angus Report. Hello, I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. The U.S. District Court of Appeals granted a motion by several industry groups to intervene in a lawsuit filed this summer regarding country of origin labeling, or COOL. The United States Cattlemen's Association, National Farmers Union, American Sheep Industry Association, and Consumer Federation of America support the implementation of the labeling rules and therefore oppose the lawsuit originally filed July 8th by nine other organizations, including National Cattlemen's Beef Association. The plaintiffs in the case are working to prevent further implementation of mandatory country of origin labeling, citing significant damage to the meat industry and other aspects that exceed the original mandate permitted in the 2008 Farm Bill. The court's order allowed USCA and other groups named in the motion to participate in the injunction hearing. Labeling proponents say implementing country of origin labeling is important to the welfare of the industry and creates consumer confidence. Meanwhile, revisions made to the labeling law and requested by Mexico and Canada seem to remain a sticking point for the trading partners. Scientists at the University of California, Davis, have identified a new cattle virus that causes neurologic symptoms similar to BSE. While the virus poses little threat to human health, the finding allows researchers to develop diagnostic tools that rule out BSE and better identify the cause of the neurological symptoms. Researchers analyzed brain tissue, which revealed the virus as a member of the astrovirus family. Now scientists will conduct further studies to determine other factors like disease origin and how often or how long affected animals shed the virus. Of course, cattle that display neurological symptoms are screened through a series of industry-wide safeguards, but this latest development helps to further early and rapid detection. Well, fall is almost here, but drought conditions are sneaking back into certain portions of the Corn Belt. That's according to the latest drought monitor, which shows abnormally dry conditions re-emerging in parts of the Corn Belt, including Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. Minnesota has also experienced dry weather conditions, with 81% of the state categorized in drought. However, forecasters suggest dry weather will be short-lived in the areas, with the exception of Nebraska and Kansas. Now, meanwhile, drought in New Mexico, Texas, and Colorado has eased, although others in the West continue to battle the effects of drought, including wildfires. The Beef Quality Assurance Program released new recommended guidelines for veterinary procedures. A collaborative team of veterinarians, animal scientists, cattle industry leaders, and producers developed the guidelines which were presented to the Cattle Health and Well-Being Committee during the Cattle Industry Summer Conference. Suggested guidelines offer parameters for branding, castration, and humane euthanasia. Visit BQA.org to read more and to ensure proper management techniques on your operation. Angus cattle producers can now participate in a new marketing opportunity for purebred cattle during the National Western Stock Show in Denver, Colorado. Cattlemen can enter groups of three to five head of either heifer calves or bred yearlings into the National Western Heifer Mart, which will display cattle in the yards just south of the stockyard area. The idea is to uh, have an area for uh, purebred females, and these animals will not uh, be shown. There's not a competitive event for them, but the Heifer Mart is really designed for breeders to bring in and uh, promote their program and have the opportunity to sell on a private treaty basis uh, females in their program. Additionally, it, it offers a buying opportunity for the many guests that are in the cattle business that come to Denver. So in the case of the Angus, they'd be in there pretty much that first week uh, of uh, the National Western each year. Entries are due by December 1st and fees are $100 per head. Schedules can be found online at nationalwestern.com or by contacting the National Western Livestock Office. When the Angus Report returns, a look at how marbling and reproduction go hand in hand. And the Angus Source Genetic Program hits an important milestone, one million head of documented Angus genetics. Visit angus.org to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. 
Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Once protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Blackleg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. Horn flies cost cattle producers nearly $1 billion a year. They interrupt grazing, cause loss of blood, and impact your bottom line. By incorporating Altacid IGR into your supplement program, you can prevent the emergence of adult horn flies. Altacid IGR will significantly reduce stress on your cattle. For pennies a day, you can control the most costly parasite and increase your profitability. Contact your feed supplier to incorporate Altacid IGR today. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do. Every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. What's one more calf worth? You make a big time investment in genetic improvement, so why not get more calves? It starts with VitaFirm Conceptate with the Amifirm Advantage for just two to four cents more a day. Feeding VitaFirm Conceptate before breeding season gives your cows the nutrition they need for improved conception rates. Plus, Amifirm enhances digestion of feed, improving body condition, a critical component to fertility. So with cattle prices as high as they've ever been, What's one more calf worth? A lot. VitaFirm Conceptate. This stuff is good. Learn more at VitaFirm.com. Mid-Continent Livestock Supplements provide high-quality, free-choice supplements for your cattle. The all-natural, high-performance cooked molasses tubs allow you to control supplement intake, reduce waste, and lower your feed costs. MLS tubs are more than a supplement. It's a guarantee your cattle are getting their required daily supplement so you reach your production targets. Mid-Continent Livestock Supplements, the supplement your cattle deserve. Find out more at mlstubs.com. Our family invites you to the R.A. Brown Ranch complete and total dispersal of our entire cow herd this October at the ranch near Throckmorton, Texas. Come join us for this historic event held in conjunction with our 39th annual 600 head bull sale. Selling all 1,400 head of Angus, Red Angus, and Sim Angus females. Take advantage of this opportunity, October 9th, 10th, and 11th. For more information, visit rabrownranch.com. Here you go. Thomas Angus Ranch is your nationwide source for Angus genetics that excel on the range, in the feedlot, and on the rail. Thomas Angus Ranch is a performance-oriented program you can trust to put the right genetics in your herd. Visit the Thomas family in Baker City, Oregon for their sale on October 17th. Thomas Angus Ranch, the brand that pays. September 21st marks the second Seagraves Angus and Friends annual production sale in Mulberry Grove, Illinois. The Gateway of Opportunity sale starts at noon and features 87 lots and selling 125 head. Visit cotton-associates.com for more sale information and to view sale videos. We'll see you September 21st at the Gateway of Opportunity sale or bid online at liveauctions.tv.